So today I'm going to take y'all into a Starbucks in China and I'm going to order something that I believe is not on the menu in the States. So uh, let's go inside and I'll show you guys around and also show you what I'm having today as a, as a little after lunch snack while I'm still on lunch break over here. Yeah, so this is what the inside of a Starbucks over here looks like. It's pretty big just because the population over here is larger and uh, they're usually found in like the corner of a shopping mall. It's very, very rare to see standalone Starbucks, you know, with drive throughs and stuff like we have in the States. And then here's their wall of the merch you can buy. You got like the Shenzhen tumblers, the China tumblers, the Shenzhen mugs. So just some cool souvenir ideas if, if y'all ever make it over to Shenzhen. Okay, so this is the Starbucks Ava Afogado is what they call it. It's basically uh, ice cream sundae with, I believe, coffee uh, instead of like, you know, hot fudge. So I don't think they have this in the States. If they do, let me know about it. But I'm going to go ahead and give this a try and let you guys know how it tastes. Plus I got the ice water here just because I know I'll probably get thirsty eating this. Okay, so I just left Starbucks and in the same video, because it's not such a big topic that I can make one complete video about, I want to show you how some people get around over here for relatively short distances. If you ever have to go somewhere that's shorter than in between, you know, two metro stations. And up here, I can give you a better idea of, uh, of what this method of transportation is. So you, you of course have the e-bikes that are all personally owned, but here, these aqua and these dark blue colored bikes, and there's also another one that's yellow. These are all bikes that you can scan through WeChat or Alipay, and you can rent them. And I usually only go maybe one or maybe two kilometers at a time and that usually charges me 1.5 rmb so uh this one i'm going to get on here in a minute 1.5 rmb comes out to be about let's see i don't know 17 cents or something like that okay so i just brought the bike back uh going back to work now after lunch i hope y'all enjoyed uh, you know what a Starbucks in China is about, plus the you know that menu item here and this, and also these rental bikes that are here. And also, I just wanted to let you know the ice cream was very great with the uh, with the coffee, you know, added to it. So if you like coffee and ice cream, I suggest you to uh, buy one while you're over here. The price is a little steep. The price is about uh, six dollars and fifty cents American, so that's the only negative thing. But it's typical for for Starbucks over here, because typically, like stuff, places like McDonald's, KFC would be cheaper, but Starbucks is the same price, you know, in the U.S. than it is over here, or over here than it is in the U.S. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all next time.